Madame Roy back again. Well, it's December 13th, 2015, and I thought it was time for another room tour video. Not a lot has changed, but I'm going to show you what has, and I'll give you a general idea of my room just for you guys that haven't seen it. So without further ado, let's get started. I still have my Monty Python Complete waste of time, and yes, I will get to reviewing this game eventually. Underneath here is my Swan brand Apple's clock, which is still holding and keeping good time. Have my cat picture here, which is a true oil on canvas. I did find that out, but still haven't learned much about this uh, artist. Can't really find anything about him on the internet, unfortunately, but maybe someday somebody I know will be able to shed some light on who actually painted this. If you guys know, please leave in the comments. I uh, still have my uh, pictures up here, though I did have to remove one because I wanted to put in an antenna wire here. This is to get better FM reception to my stereo system here, which I'm sure most of you guys remember and if my camera can focus. <laughs> um, on top I have the Pioneer 8-track player. That one is the model HR1000. I have the Onkyo brand stereo cassette player, the A1. I have the Onkyo receiver. This one is model TX8211. The uh, Philips double speed CD recorder which works like garbage unfortunately but hey it's the only one I could find it's model CDR01775 and my Panasonic 5 disc changer with MP3 capabilities still running off the uh, Iowa speakers I'm hoping to upgrade to something better eventually but these do still sound pretty decent and for the two dollars I paid for them at, a, at the garage sale not complaining. Still have this out from Christmas. Uh, this is a talking radio I got when I was a kid. Because so I could demonstrate that for you guys really quick. N -O -E -L. You're listening to N O E L all Christmas, all the time. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Get her, let As you can see, the uh, button on the switch on the back is a little sensitive. It's kind of worn out over the years. Uh, the eyes don't work too well anymore, but eh, yeah, I'm kind of nostalgic for it, so I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, over here, just some pictures and some tchotchkes. Uh, still have the mash tapes. Um, I watch one of these almost every night. I love this series. I know it was kind of controversial back in the day, but... I just find it really hilarious. I think Alan Alda is one of the funniest comedians I've ever seen. The fact that he didn't go on to do any other comedy series kind of boggles my mind. Um, and I got quite a few of those, and I even have some more down there. So, again, I watch those every night. Nothing here has changed. Still have my HP uh, Triple Core Phenom C uh, computer. My uh, LaserJet 2300. This is the one I don't use as much, but still works great. And coming over to the alcove here, I still have all my Alvin and the Chipmunks um, collectibles. Unfortunately, I didn't get any Chipmunk stuff for Christmas except for one item, which I will show you guys in a few minutes. Got a few things there. I'm not going to go into the alcove. I mean, no literally nothing in there has changed from my last video. So, if you guys want to, you can actually go take a look at that on my uh, channel. Probably, I think the last room tour I did was about three months ago. Now, here's something that has changed. This is that TV I got for Christmas. This is a RCA 40-inch LED TV. And I am still going to do a review a, of this TV alone. Um, I've been very happy with it so far. Uh, it is extremely thin. I mean, if you look at it up here, the this part is probably only... The actual panel itself is probably only an inch thick. Now, the um, 
the board, the circuit boards, the power board, the uh, tuner board, that takes up more space, so that was all put back here. But uh, check, look out for that review coming in a couple of and up here I still have the rest of my Alvin the Chipmunks collection. Some of the uh, newer dolls. These are from, uh, this one's from Chipwrecked. These two I believe are from the uh, Squeakle. Um, I may or be wrong on that. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I like them. You got Eleanor, Simon, and then of course Jeanette. This is something interesting. I don't know if I showed you guys this before. Uh, a car club that my dad and I belonged to, one of the gentlemen knew that I was into vintage tech and he brought this over and gave it to me. This is a Keystone um, 8mm uh, camcorder from right around 1946. You can see it's made in Boston, Massachusetts. There's a serial number. It's model 934090. And um, I'll probably do a review on this when I get more information about it. I always thought it was cool that back then you actually had to set it for the conditions like hazy sun for color of black and white. You could set it for uh, different things like in a cloudy day, a bright sunlight. But it's thing is really cool and this is definitely cool enough to get its own review in the future. Uh, nothing over here has changed. Um, I have been working on a few systems. This is one I'm working on for a client. Uh, it was majorly, majorly infected. Um, but other than that, the computer itself works just fine. It's a HP Beats Edition. It's the model NV uh, DV6. See that right there. Uh, running Windows 8. Actually, I just upgraded to 8.1. And now I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, antivirus protection on it. Because what she had on there was what came with it originally and she didn't realize that it actually expired and unfortunately I come across a lot of that so I'm going to install, install a vast on here and probably uh, spy bot search and destroy uh, unfortunately it was so highly infected I was not able to save the installation so I had to re reload windows entirely from the factory image uh, yes I want to install Chrome I put it as my default browser, but I do not want the Google toolbar because, as we all know, toolbars uh, slow the installation, or basically they slow any browser they're attached to. Regular installation. Continue, because I've read that in the past. We'll go ahead and let that install. Um, I still have the HP, the Windows 2000 system. As a matter of fact, I'll show you what I've been up to. I want to go ahead and load my audio library onto my Asus Ultrabook. So when I'm out, when I have this when I'm out, I can listen to just about all of my songs. So what I decided to do was take it and put them all on a uh, flash drive. Now again, this computer is, a, is running a USB 2.0 hub. I have the card in the back hooked up to this um, replicator. you got four ports there. And I'm actually transferring all of my songs, which are loaded on this computer, to that stick. And as you can see, I still got uh, about 42 minutes left. I looked at it. This is almost 18 gigabytes of songs, which to some people might not seem like a lot, but I guarantee you that's probably 30,000 songs. So it's going to take a while, especially at USB 2.0 transfer speeds. Um, this is still working just fine. I love the battery life on this. I wound up getting about uh, six hours of battery life, which is really, really nice. If I take this out, I definitely need that kind of battery life because, let's face it, I'm not always by a uh, plug. Um, I did do some upgrades. It is running 8.1 now. You can see right there, 8.1 is stable on this for those of you with... Uh, complain about Windows 8 just like me. Um, Windows 8.0, uh, the first version, had a lot of stability issues from from what I was told. I never really used it, but ever since I put Windows 8.1 on here, um, it's running just fine. Wow, screen refresh, the refresher on the screen and this camera do not <laughs> mix. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a strobing effect going on the screen. You guys can take a look just so I can show you guys what the specs are again. It's a Celeron 1007U running at 1.5 gigahertz. 
and two gigabytes of RAM with uh, 1.89 gigabytes usable. And this is a dual core Celeron CPU, so not too bad for what it is. Um, down here I still have the uh, Gateway Essential system. Uh, this thing is running absolutely beautifully. I don't use it as much as I would like, but I, whenever I do um, vintage game reviews, more likely than not, this is the system that I'm using. Um, I do a, right now, I'll just go over again, it has a 6x DVD ROM drive, a floppy drive, and then a 4x by 4x by 24x uh, CD burner. Um, I do have an upgrade plan for this. Um, I want to go ahead and put in a, uh, probably a Zip 100. I believe that's the drive I have because I have a Zip 250 that I can put in there, but it's got a black face and this looks so pretty as it is. I, I don't want to put a, a black face drive on there. So I'm going to upgrade this with a uh, Zip 100 and then I think the upgrades will be complete. Um, that'll let me store some, um, some of my vintage games right onto a Zip drive. You know, it might be kind of useless today, but uh, you know me, I love my vintage tech, so if I can do it and I have the equipment, why not? <laughs> uh, everything's the same here. Uh, nothing's really changed. I still have the Kyocera CD player. I love this. I totally agree with UXW Bill. This is probably one of the best compact disc players I've ever owned. Very clear. Um, I have a very good ear for music, and generally when I listen to a CD, I can tell I'm listening to a CD. It just sounds like electronic music, and this is clear. I don't have any um, rippling effect from it, and kudos for UXW Bill for turning me on to such a uh, solidly well-made compact disc player. Uh, the six disc or six cassette changer, still working just fine. I did wind up picking up a few more uh, cassettes ever since I went to that um, estate auction. I picked up these up here at my local thrift store. These are um, Maxell UX uh, UD2s, and I'm going to save those for uh, special recordings I'll probably be doing in the near future. Um, this is just some random video cassettes. There's a Camelot videotape up there, some random CDs. This is actually a uh, poem that my uncle, or my uncle, my grandfather wrote. He was a uh, poet, and he actually got a few of them published. So if you guys want to pause the video, I'll put that in frame. You guys can read this uh, poem. It's called Barefoot Boy. And once I compile him, because he, he had passed away back in 2006, and then um, a lot of his stuff got lost, but my uncle was searching in the attic the other day and came across a lot of his old poems. So next time I go up there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, compile a list, uh, basically a, a sampling of his best poems, and I'll make a couple videos about that. Again, just some random CDs and uh, other junk few cassettes up there. There's my inspirational Lasco fan which a lot of people have said they really liked that video, and uh, I enjoyed making that because I thought that was an important story to tell. Random acts of kindness are very rare these days. There's my uh, Game Boy that I replaced the screen on. That's still doing just fine. Uh, the screen's holding perfectly. There was no glue leakage around the edge, so it actually looks like it was done by a professional. And believe me, I'm kind of klutzy. I'm by no means a professional at this, so... Uh, I was kind of surprised I didn't get glue all over the place. <laughs> My remotes, various remotes for everything. And then, of course, my bed with the absolutely ugly but extremely comfortable uh, comforter, which I'm going to use until it totally falls apart. And that's probably not too far away because on the other side, this thing is starting to look like a piece of Swiss cheese. <laughs> And up here is the only new Alvin the Chipmunks thing that I got this year. And I did show this in a previous video, but I figured it was worth just showing again. Uh, it's Alvin holding his stocking. He's got a uh, Santa hat on. Well, I'm sorry, he's actually just got a tassel right there. And then on the bottom it says, I've tried to be good. Um, I do need to clean that up a little bit because, like I mentioned in the previous video, that was kind of shop-soiled. And uh, I got it for a really nice, really good deal. But 
as soon as I get some time, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum it and um, probably just use a dusting cloth and try to clean it up as best I can because I really don't want to put any chemicals or run that through a washing cycle, even on delicate, because there's a good chance it'll just start to fall apart. Even though it's brand new, they don't make these things like they used to. And last but not least, we have my main computer set up. Still have the dual monitors, the LG 22-inch monitor, and then the HP Compact 22-inch monitor. The LG being the LED monitor, and the Compact HP Compact being an LCD monitor. I do have another upgrade planned for this. Uh, that'll be probably the very next video. Um, as you guys, I think I showed this uh, in one of my other videos, I have acquired a 2 terabyte Western Digital Green hard drive. So what I've decided to do is replace the secondary uh, 1 terabyte drive with this. And I'll just go ahead and transfer all of my data from the external hard drive, which is my Toshiba there onto this new two terabyte hard drive. So I'll basically get an extra terabyte of space. So once that's done, I'll have four terabytes of hard drive space. I'll have that two terabyte secondary drive, the one terabyte external drive, and then the one terabyte main drive that houses the uh, operating system. I shouldn't be hurting for space for a while after that. Well, and I still have my sky clock and my graduation tassel and uh, information there. Hope you guys enjoyed this room tour video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.